tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. My job of, of 19 years, it wasn't, you know, to establish a metaphysical practice. Mm -hmm. um, again, it was to grow in my relationship with the creator. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first thing of any of anything. It's like Oprah said, you know, if you're doing something for the money of it, nine times out of 10 may not happen. If you do things for the love of it, don't worry about the money, then those things uh, will happen. Now I did 19 years with corrections. I was a, um, a started with a receptionist, a stenographer, then I became a confidential secretary, then administrative secretary in the prison. Now that was as I'm taking care of my daughters. However, those 19 years taught me the value of organization. The universe is order. Yeah. So although I was although I was doing this job and it was it was and I, I considered a career. I was very proud of it. Like, okay, I'm I'm, I'm doing something here, showing my daughters. Um, the underlying truth of it was that I was learning. So if we're in a place, one thing, one thing I would say is to learn to be grateful in yes. the place that we are, because when it's time to move, I would not have moved from that 19 years of Michigan Department of Corrections if my soul or if I was not ready, if my spirit, now my consciousness wasn't ready because I was scared. I said, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> one of my friends in human resource, she said, Anita, why don't you take a wave right leave of absence? That way, if it doesn't work, you can come back. And I said, I can't do that because if I do that, that means I'm lacking faith already. Before I even step out that door, I'm saying, I'm, I'm lacking faith. So I couldn't do that. So I did, it wasn't to transition into a metaphysical counselor. It was the continuation of my journey that, okay, I want to know my relationship with the creator, with the universe. That's, you know, that's my path. That you mentioned it, that it's actually a continuation. Absolutely. Because it's the thing that I've been trying to get across uh, a lot of the questions about this manifesting process. Because now in the Philippines, so many manifesting classes are being taught. So many, so many manifesting classes are being taught. And it's actually amazing for me because you're beginning to realize that more and more people are actually drawn to metaphysics in one way or another with different modalities, with different frameworks that actually work for them. And one of the things that I keep emphasizing to everyone, I agree with you when you said that this thing that you think is not related to what you're aiming for, they're actually all related because you're developing certain qualities and the lessons that you draw out of those experiences are necessary for you to move into that space, whatever that may be for you, to actually uh, be more complete in that space. And even I had to learn that. I, I had so many lessons. <laughs> um, and contrary to what you're telling me, that you, you just allow and you're playful about the whole experience. I've always wanted to have the awareness, not miss out on details so I can write it in a book or write it in my journal for me to understand the inner process that's actually taking place. And I, I just love this whole conversation because you're actually bringing life into the process that you're able to share that, you know, for 19 years, you were bringing into the experience this particular male energy, male aspect of you to fend for your daughters and moving to that place where you were, you were going to apply more of your yin energy. How long has that into you movement? in existence um let's see i got a state mark i believe it was 2014 when i registered with the state of michigan so it's actually a state mark like a state trademark yeah i love what you mentioned huh i love what you mentioned because it does resonate with me a lot of the things that's keeping me 
courageous about a lot of the things that's really cracking a lot of generational beliefs in my community has something to do with people imposing their beliefs onto others that make people feel that they're separated from source, that they're separated from God. Because that's, for me, that's the root of all problem. (laughs) Because when you don't know that God is within you and that whatever it is that you're feeling and thinking about constantly, that's what you're vibrating. That's what you're also attracting into your experience. So thank you for the awesome work that you're doing. I'm very sure that a lot of people who are listening right now are opening their hearts into the space where they're more aligned to source uh, within. And it's funny because we're actually moving to the next segment where we're getting more personal. And I mentioned earlier in the introduction that I was going to have my own testimonial about me working with Dr. Anita Caprice. So... (laughs) I know there's always divine timing for things why we meet certain people and why we do experience certain things in our lives. And you know, I love my mom. She's the she's one of the kindest people I know. She's also one of those people who really took the time to teach me how to read. And a lot of the things that I know now, I I know because of my mom and I know because of my dad. But because of programmings that make people feel separated from source they also come into the space where a lot of people questioning their self-worth we're measuring our self-worth self-worth based on you know what other people think is good for us and you know I, I have to share this to our audience because Prior to manifesting the show, there was a time in my life when I was really wanting to get into the space of building a stronger personal relationship with source within me. So I'm offering a 30-minute free consultation. So if you know, I'm 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 a massage therapist too, so I'm I'm, I'm a lot of things. So uh, as a, a wellness and well-being consultant, I am offering a 30-minute consultation. If you know your blood, see our blood is our lifeline. That's also about tapping into ourselves, tapping into the, the the legitimate needs, as Matthew Perry would say, physical, spiritual, intellectual, emotional. So this 30-minute uh, consultation will be, we will have, uh, uh, I will let you know what, what foods nourish your blood so that your blood can nourish you. And then also we know that that disorder, disease is 80% emotional, 20% physical. We'll tap into that and then and just have some fun together. So, you know, so you can get some knowledge about that. What, you know, what to eat. Like, for instance, um, my blood does not, it, uh, black pepper is not uh, conducive for my blood. So I use cayenne pepper, just things like that, the things that we might not even know. And then also, um, I did, I have my Reflections of an Angel. It's an ebook. Yes. Uh, it is normally seven ninety nine, but for you guys, um, you mentioned you mentioned the show. You re- you mentioned Reverend Reg, and that that book is available for you for five dollars. You can purchase that book by going to PayPal. You can use PayPal since I know we're across the waters, and that's uh, Caprice A P at yahoo.com. That's the PayPal address. C is in charming. A P is in precious. R I C is in charming. E is in excellence. A uh, P is in Paul at yahoo.com. That is the 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 uh, the uh, uh, PayPal the, to purchase the book. And then at the bottom, um, you see you can email me at vibin high three six nine v i b i n h i g h three six nine at gmail.com to schedule your thirty minute free consultation. I'm doing this to say thank you for because Reverend Reg, uh, this is a blessing. This is an honor. So I wanted to do a pay it forward and and. Um, uh, prayerfully bless others. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you so much for your generosity. Um, I learned so much and I trust that our audience is able to pick up a lot from the show. And if you have other... And, and before I start with the prayer, I want to thank V81 Management and our team, Dax, Robbie, uh, Dean, thank you so much. My bosses, Sir Raleigh and Sir Nathan, Sir Charlie, 
and also Dr. Cindy Palos, the International Metaphysical Ministry. We have an ongoing scholarship in University of Metaphysics and University of Sedona. So for those of you who want to get into life coaching or you want to become a meditation teacher, please visit www.universityofmetaphysics.com. And you're also invited to our Satnam Prayer and Meditation Circle. And I also encourage you to be part of the Tap Into You movement. I'm part of it. And I'm happy that Dr. Anita keeps coming up with daily vlogs reminding us that we are the greatest miracle in the world. We are the magic that we've been waiting for. And to my friends, you all know who you are. Thank you for being supportive and my family, of course. Thank you, everyone, for uh, supporting us. Uh, Dr. Cindy Palos, uh, Dr. Diana Viuni, uh, re- uh, my Reiki master, Aisa Ginhawa, and Bye Bye In, Nini Attorney Torio. Thank you so much, everyone. And I just want to invite everyone for a simple prayer. Please close your eyes. And together, let's affirm the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. And so, thank you everyone and see you again next week. And we have Dr. Diana Vihuni for our next episode where we're going to talk about the art and science of real magic. See you all next Sunday. Satnam. Thank you. Blessings, peace, and love, Thank everyone. You. Thank you, Mom. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.